If you don't stop screwing my husband, I'm going to have you deported. Mom, you were dating our pool boy? I've always been partial to Armenians. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon the all new Lifetime original television series known as Devious Maids. And without any further ado, let's go to get to it, shall we? I'm going to talk about the pilot episode. As always, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the creator of the series. So Devious Maids is created by a man by the name of Mark Cherry. And Mark Cherry is mainly known for creating these series on ABC known as Desperate Housewives. Now, Devious Maids is not actually the first production with a similar plot. Devious Maids on the Lifetime channel is actually a sort of remake or a reboot of an older Mexican television series, and it is actually heavily influenced by Mark Cherry's ABC series, like I said earlier, heavily influenced by Desperate Housewives. Now, Devious Maids, now what's the plot all about? Well, pretty much Devious Maids on the Lifetime channel is pretty much about these four maids' lives, and we pretty much watch them, you know, the drama they get into, the relationships they get into with the people that they work for, and, you know, trying to support their families. They have their own, you know, inner workings to why they're actually a maid. That's pretty much the main just. There is somewhat of a small uh, underlining theme where a maid was killed, and while the drama and the relationships are going on, you're trying to find out, you know, who killed that made. That's pretty much the main just of the Lifetime original television series by the name of Devious Maids. Overall, my thoughts and opinions on Lifetime's Devious Maids, somewhat of a mixed bag, to honestly. You know, there were things that I liked about it, and there were things that I didn't like. And honestly, there are probably more things that I didn't like about the show uh, than things I actually liked. But before we talk about the cons, let's talk about some of the pros of the show. So what are some of the things I liked about Devious Maids? on Lifetime. Well, one of the things I liked was the overall mystery concept. I will say it is somewhat, and I do mean somewhat vaguely, which means a very small interest, uh, somewhat vaguely interesting to watch, you know, to watch these characters play out, to watch, you know, to find out who is actually, you know, doing the killing, you know, who actually killed the maid. Somewhat interesting watching this plot play out because you have no idea who it is. Like I said, it's very vaguely interesting. Though I will say it's also kind of a con because it's a generic plot that we have seen before. You know, Devious Maze, it's not doing anything original at all. It's we have seen this, you know, recently in ABC's family show new show called Twisted. Twisted, miles better than Devious Maze, you know, but we've already seen that. You know, person dies off trying to find out who it is. You know, the same thing is with, you know, a ABC Family Show called Pretty Little Liars. Someone dies off, and you're trying to find out who it is. So we have seen this generic plot many times, and Devious Maids doesn't really do much to actually set it apart from other series. So like I said, it's an interesting mystery, but we've already kind of seen it before, so I guess it plays, you know, you know, a pro and con in both areas. Another thing that's, you know, is pretty decent about it is some of the characters involved. And I will say some of these characters in the show aren't really fleshed out, they're extremely shallow, all they really care about is having their house clean, uh, but so, I guess that's just the character's personality, so you really can't do much about that. I just wish the characters, I guess as the series goes on, we'll find out if they're more fleshed out, but for right now, for our pilot episode, some of the characters really aren't fleshed out. But even though some of them aren't fleshed out, there was one uh, particular character that I liked, uh, besides the, the maid, the main maid, excuse me, the main maid that actually was in the show, she didn't actually start showing off her acting until probably the last 10 minutes of the show, and then I actually thought she was pretty decent. Uh, but the main girl that I thought stole the show in the entire pod episode of the Lifetime television series known as Devious Maids was the, she was the one that the dead maid worked for. She was the one with apparently the, I forgot to say this earlier, the, apparently her husband was having some sort of an affair with this maid, but according to the maid that died, she was raped by the guy, and the guy seems to have all these sexual, you know, intentions for this other maid that comes to work in their house. Anyways, uh, he's kind of a creepy guy. I didn't, his character was kind of strange. I really didn't know what to think about his character. Uh, it wasn't bad acting. He just, you know, if you know what I mean, he's just kind of a strange character on in all honesty. Uh, but anyways, his wife, the one with the brown curly hair, uh, the kind of older woman, uh, I really thought she was a pretty good actor. You know, all she really cared about was having a clean house, you know, and keeping her, you know, personality intact while her, you know, while her maid just died. But I thought she was somewhat of a decent actor. She was probably the one that was the most uh, likable out of everyone else, and overall, I thought she was just somewhat of a decent person. 
that's really all the show has to offer. But there are a few uh, decent characters involved, and the mystery is somewhat vaguely interesting. But overall, Devious Maids doesn't really have much new to offer. It's extremely generic. At times, the series can be extremely annoying because not a lot is happening. It takes a good 50 minutes in the show for anything to happen. And once things do start happening, it gets a little more interesting. But overall, it's... Nothing you really haven't seen before. No, I wasn't looking for something amazing. No, I wasn't looking for something original or phenomenal. But I was wanting something a little bit interesting. And at times, Devious Maids on the Lifetime channel, it, at times it was interesting, you know, watching these, you know, maids live out their lives somewhat. The main, the main thing that made it interesting was that, like I said, that that uh, woman character and then the overall mystery. But like I said, it's nothing you haven't seen before. It is very generic and overall. It just makes up for, you know, a kind of a mixed bag of a pilot. Will I continue watching it? Most likely, I will. Not because I thought the pilot was amazing overall. It was an alright pilot. But... I will just continue watching, just mainly to see who actually killed the maid, and also because I don't have anything else to watch uh, Sunday nights, uh, besides Crossing Lines that started recently. That's all I have to watch, so I will record it on my DVR Genie that I actually have, so that's pretty much my thoughts on Devious Maids. Like I said, I will be posting reviews uh, every week, mainly just for something to watch, kind of like popcorn, you know, just something to watch. Uh, not something that I'm actually, you know, putting an interest in. Just something to watch and maybe it'll get better as time goes on. I am going to give it a chance because I don't want to give it up on it that easily. Anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on the pilot episode for the Lifetime television series known as Devious Maids. It has been confirmed for one season, of course, and the first season will have a total of 13 episodes. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to that page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.